You come home, put the key in the door, open it and everything is in order. Nothing is missing, everything is in its place. That's how it should be. But has it ever happened to you that you wanted to come home and the door was already open because someone broke into your house? Then you know how bad that feeling is. In this video I'll show you what you should watch out for so that your house or flat doesn't become a burglary target. Many burglars keep a close eye on where they can and cannot break in. So always make sure that your curtains are not necessarily closed all day. Especially when you are not in the house because this is naturally noticeable. The same applies to roller shutters. Open them even when you're not there. If you're going to be away for a long time, get someone to open them once in the morning and close them again in the evening, so that it always looks as if someone is at home. Let's move on to tip number two, because the same applies to your letterbox. If you're not at home for a longer period of time, your letterbox is usually overflowing. Of course, this is also very conspicuous and potential burglars could see that you haven't been home for a while. Again, it's best to have someone who empties your mailbox regularly. If you get a lot of advertising, a sticker saying that you don't want to receive any more advertising in the future will help to keep it from filling up so quickly. A light that you can control with a timer can also help. This way it always looks as if someone is at home. Make sure however that the timer cannot be seen directly through the window from the outside. Ideally, you should use a digital timer that allows you to vary the times for each day. This way there is no direct pattern that the light always comes on at a certain time and goes off at another time. You should also be careful where you place a spare key. The usual hiding places such as under the doormat or somewhere in a flower pot or other small hiding places or a figurine near your front door is probably not the perfect hiding place because these are usually known. Of course it's best to place the key with a neighbor or a relative who lives nearby. You should also make sure that all your windows and doors are always closed. This means that you should not leave any windows open as these are a quick and easy target for burglars. Even if you're only away for half an hour or an hour, you should always close the windows completely beforehand to be a bit safer. You should also not leave any valuables on the windowsill that can be seen from the outside. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop, a camera, a mobile phone or even money. Because if you leave them on the windowsill, they could also make it easy for a potential thief to break into your home. You should also not place such things near the window. In general you should not necessarily see any large valuables from the outside. An outside light can also help, especially in the dark season. Because the burglar certainly doesn't want to be in the spotlight. Therefore switch on your outside light, if possible also via a timer that always goes on and off while you are not at home. Another good way to deter burglars is to use a light with a motion sensor. If someone approaches your house, your front door or your window, the light goes on and burglars are usually deterred because they don't want to be seen. So follow these tips and tricks if you don't want anyone to break into your home. Would you also like to know how burglars mark your house before they break in? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.